Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. Today we are talking about Thanksgiving tips to keep your waistline trim. Welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I'm your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women lose weight for the last time. My goal with this podcast is to deliver you strategies and tactics to jumpstart your weight loss even when you're over 40, even when we're in COVID, even when there's holidays. So make sure you hit subscribe on whatever platform you are currently watching or listening on, because from now until the end of the year, I will be giving you daily tips to navigate your way through the holidays. This podcast is just the starting point for your weight loss journey. And when you're ready and looking for individualized attention for losing weight for good, I want to invite you to schedule a consult with me where you're going to find out what is holding you back from losing weight permanently and what is step number one for your custom blueprint weight loss plan. You can schedule your call at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat, C-H-A-T. All right, so let's dive into the tip today. We are on tip number five. So if you are just listening to this first episode, go back because there's four more behind this one (laughs) that you missed. Um, Today's tip is going to be let your stomach be your guide, not your brain. So are you actually hungry? Like when you get to Thanksgiving, are you actually hungry? Like your stomach is growling. And I did an episode, um, one of the other four tips about what you can do to uh, fuel your body from by the time you wake up until the time you go to Thanksgiving dinner. So make sure you check out that episode. But if you're not physically hungry, like your stomach is not growling, then you do not need to eat. If you are eating when you're not physically hungry, then you're eating for emotional reasons. This right here is what I spend a majority of my time deep diving in and working on with my clients. Once you get rid of the food drama or the emotional eating around food, weight loss is very easy. (laughs) So that's a little side note. But if you are truly hungry, or if you're truly not hungry when you get to Thanksgiving, hold off or get a small portion of food and then head back when you are experiencing true hunger. And this may be challenging for you because when you get to Thanksgiving, depending on how you eat, whether it's a sit down or whether it's like buffet style, you're going to feel some pressure from whoever's around you, um, family members, friends, and they're not probably, they're not doing it on purpose, nine times out of 10, but you're going to feel some peer pressure about, they're going to ask you or give you looks and like, be like, why aren't you eating? Are you not feeling well? Are you trying to diet again? You know, those kind of comments and what you think about yourself in that moment is really key. So Make sure that you do not give in to what everyone else is whispering in your ear or what you think people are thinking about you. If you are serious about losing weight, you've made a commitment to yourself to lose inches. Make sure you honor your commitments to your goals and really listen to your hunger signals. All right, so that's my tip for today. Don't eat unless you're actually hungry and be aware of what is coming up or what people are saying to you in that moment. So I will be back tomorrow for more tactics and strategies to help you navigate your way through the holidays. And when you're ready to work together on designing your weight loss blueprint plan for the rest of your life, give me a uh, schedule a call with me at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat, C-H-A-T. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.